The average person has never had a monkey in their living room. I remember seeing the monkey for the first time. I've never been that close to it. A, a monkey. I remember Craig just saying over and over again, this is awesome, this is awesome, this is so cool. Like he just had this smile on his face and he was just amazed by watching her. This is like a little person coming here. It's not like a dog or a cat. It's not any other animal that you can possibly imagine. In 1979, a researcher by the name of MJ Willard had the idea to train capuchin monkeys to help people with spinal cord injuries. In the beginning of our program, we were only placing monkeys with spinal cord injury patients. Now we place monkeys with people with all types of physical disabilities. Thank you, Allie. What a good job. I broke my neck in a car accident about, oh, coming up on 12 years ago now. I don't have any fingers or hands that function normally anymore. I don't have any legs that function anymore. And I have no feeling from about my shoulders down. So when Minnie showed up, one of the biggest, biggest lifesavers that she could possibly offer me was fetching a phone. If I drop the phone, that's my lifeline to 911 and emergencies. I'm pretty much done until somebody comes and picks it up. And before Minnie, that could be hours. Way to go, way to go. High five. That a girl. She'll start rubbing my ear or she'll start rubbing the back of my neck. And no matter if I'm down or not, you can't help but laugh. Grooming and the ability to take care of each other to a monkey or primate is the ultimate sign of trust. And you could just tell that the bond had been made with between me and Minnie. She really, really alleviates the pain of being in a wheelchair. She really does.